guys, we're back with another video today. I'm trying to be quiet because everyone else is asleep right now other than my dad because he had to go to work. So today we're going to be playing Miami. Let's see the bracket. Who won and who did it? So, if we win, we'll be playing the winner of Notre Dame and Liberty. So let's get into it. Okay. Jerseys I'll be rocking again. Welcome everybody to New Orleans and the iconic Caesars Superdome, the long-term home of the All-State Sugar Bowl, which I this year, of course, is part of the college football playoff. The picture is the looking terrible. The top four seeds and a time to begin their quest for the national championship, but they run into a battle-tested team this already coming so off one right right playoff pick, trying to shock the world here today is. and make the semifinals. As we'll see the number eight seed in this playoff, the Miami Hurricanes taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Kentucky Wildcats. Free a Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. And here we go, a college football playoff quarterfinal game. We'll see which team's going to be moving on. The kickoff team is out there. Great energy as this playoff game is about to get underway. No, what's a dome? Bring it out. It's Patterson. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. So Kentucky's offense will have the football first here. Well, the energy of this building, Chris, is just going to pick up as this sugar ball unfolds. As they say in New Orleans, let the bon temps roule. Let the good times roll. And really one of the more hostile environments, I think, when it comes to bowl games. You know, I've called so many games in here. Think about the history. Going all the way back to 1935, they played the Sugar Bowl right here in New Orleans. I think a lot of people have associated this bowl game with the SEC. But as we've seen since the start of the playoff, teams like Washington, Ohio State, Clemson, among others, have made this trip down here to the Bayou. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, he cannot escape that ferocious pass rush to sack. So from the 21-yard line, it's now second and long. Great call here by the defensive coordinator, sending that linebacker on the blitz, and it works out for the sack. And I tell you, Miami linebacker play over the years, I would put up there with anybody in the country. So if you get some good versions real good, you don't know what to do. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Um, let's put this. No, not Let's put. Uh, 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 Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Oh. Incomplete, he was hit as he threw the football there on third down. Oh, I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that football to the last possible second to give that play a chance. But he held it just a little bit too long. And the defense is able to hit him to force that incompletion. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. The Hurricanes offense gets their first crack now. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down. Actually, play shot the same way in the playoffs this year. In this Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Oh Gets into space at the 50. Brought down, but crosses midfield to the 46. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Hey, 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 
and they'll try to pick it up on the ground. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. For the defense coordinator this week, again, I just said I'm trying to big plot. It's literally not giving this running back any true sound right. defense on that play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Goes again. backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Back to pass. It's Ward. Throws it to the right. It's complete downfield. Tackle made after a big game. Cage are going to keep this drive moving. Wow. Send the back in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Ooh. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. This is the sixth play on the drive. He hands it off from the gun. Runs through the defender. He's okay. swarmed by the defense. The Hurricanes are in the red zone now. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Caught near the sticks. It's George. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. The Canes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And the runner takes off to his right. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I love to see from the defense. Is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This touchdown for the U. And they grab the early lead. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When a quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Patterson. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Kentucky offense is back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Oh, look at the quick cut. They bring him down, but he reaches the 30-yard line. His line gets set up. It's a first down play. Looking to pass, it's Vandegriff. That pass ball is incomplete. It has been a tough first half in this playoff game for this offense. They cannot get anything going through the air. Not only are they down the scoreboard, but there's really nothing to build around as we get ready to go into the second half. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. But well, this defense has been incredible all year long, and they continue to be that way in the postseason. Just getting after this offense, whether it's putting pressure on it. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, that's their second sack already in this game right now. And, and this offensive coordinator, he's going to have to come up with some changes. Keep it tied in, then roll the quarterback back out. Anything they can do to help him out. Otherwise, this poor... He's going for a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught is for a huge game here. Is it stupid or not? Touchdown, Kentucky. Made the defense look slow that time. This is what having an accurate quarterback is so important. Fourth down, critical situation. He puts that ball right on his receiver. What I love to see is he not only picks up that first down, but he's got the speed and the awareness to take it to the end zone for the touchdown. And he knocks through the PAT. Now they get set to kick it away. Just to let you know, uh, if we ever make it this far, he thought about really returning be. it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And here comes the Miami I'll offense back out onto the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense the can make the adjustments and prevent that this time. Eight days. Takes the handoff. So we may minutes. not be posting for that. I don't know. I don't know. Great job the offensive mm -hmm. line here, mm -hmm. opening up some holes and giving the running back room mm -hmm. to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the play. I don't know how we do it because I don't know. We'll be at the beach and we're going with the family. 
We may try out that option. Handoff from the shotgun. Oh gosh, I'm here. That makes a nice move there. And it's good for a first down to the 36. Good job up front by this offensive line and good hard running. But as Miami Hurricane back, he's doing everything he can to live up to the long legacy that the Canes have at this running back position. First down and 10. The shotgun handoff here. Fights through the tackler. It's a good solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Second down after that run on the previous play. The back's got it. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense has the ability to play wide but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. It's a solid game to pick up the first down on what'll be likely the final play of this first point. So at the end of one, we are in the first quarter. These teams continue their pursuit of a national championship. Let's take a quick look at the game summary so far. See if the rest of this playoff game can live up to a very competitive opening period. The Hurricanes pick up enough for a first down. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. He pulls it in for a big game. And a big okay. game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And the Canes have first and ten here. Finds that big tight end what for a short pass. They make the tackle, but that right pass creates a solid game. But here the defense was committed to stop the run. And an RPO, that's a dangerous thing to do. The quarterback sensed that and just pulled the ball out, got it out to the right flat for some good yards. It's a quick grab. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Eventually they tackle him, but what a spin move to earn him the first down. The Canes look at a cash in in the red zone. They'll hand it off. Jukes to get free. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Using his legs, it's Smartinez. Go. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Oh, they come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Running back grabs it on the screen. And they bring him down, blockers not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. Knocks that one right down the middle. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Here we go. And it's fielded. Return of trying to make something happen. Shoot. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. comes the Kentucky oh. offense back out there. The last possession, they really had so, a passing game. Sure. Oh, the game was right down the field for a touchdown. Oh, sure. First play of the drive, we're going to throw the football. The catch is made oh, for a huge pickup. Um, oh, and he's um, free down the left side. Right. Can they run him down? They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. And that's his second touchdown today. This guy's winning every one-on-one -on -one matchup this defense provides. Great job by the quarterback putting the ball where his guy can make a play on it, and he's got two on the board. Point after, knocked right through. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Mm. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Okay. He tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the first play of the drive now coming out from the 17 yard line. Great cut 
there. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Right, here we go. The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Let me see. Let me see. They'll run it from the gun. The Shreds the tackle. Oh, yeah. Solid game moves the ball to the 36. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards of pop. The ball is loose. Oh, no. Defense. There we go. The ball. There, we go. Take away. there we go. Right you know, there. Receivers, we get enamored with their size and their speed and their versatility and their ability to make plays after the catch. Baby. But none of those things are more important than taking care of the ball. He makes the catch, but he doesn't secure the football, and it's a fumble. No way to run up the middle. No huddle here for the offense. Quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. He shreds the tackle. They feed it to the back again and again. No where to run. Oh, Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs and especially corners that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play in that corner. Why is it running the ball's working? Three yards there. Well, they don't want the defensive end to show some quickness for getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge don't to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Sure. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. I would have had a little and more on it. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Come on, pick it. Oh. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. That was close. Dropping back, it's Ward. Close to the tight Long. end. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Here we go. Not much on the return there, but the interception gets the football back to the offense at the 47. I like it. Right. Let's do that little DIY. So we need to go do a while. Stretch the first. So here we go. First play of the drive. Stop under it. two minutes before halftime. Oh, a reverse. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. I got a deal. I wasn't really ready. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line yeah. ate up all the linemen. That's what I was trying to do. To get into the backfield. And that's the result is a tackle for a loss for the back. Third down after that running play. Thank you. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense oh, having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right, right there picks gotta up get the first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. Important second down play coming up. Oh, it's a reverse. They tackle right. him behind the line, a loss of four. The defense there showed incredible discipline on the backside contained. And that reverse wasn't mm. going anywhere. Just textbook. Looking to throw it on third and very long. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in. Touchdown, Kentucky. <laughs> this receiver is putting on a show today. That is three trips to the end zone already. And based on how this defense is playing against him, this may not be the last time we see him in the end zone today. PAT is good, so the lead now is 11. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. So no return here. He takes him in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point? And that deep shot is caught for a big game. A huge gain across the field, all the way to the 40-yard line. The 
timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. To the air, it's Ward. And he just throws it away oh, there. Good Safe move. Had nobody open. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Here's the snap looking to throw. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. Going the other way. Can they stop him? Inside the 20. Return to pick six. Touchdown. Wow. I'm here. I'm actually going to see him. The this and the this that is just an extreme play for any defender. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the I'm fact that he got his eyes now. turned around, found the football, and then has the other. As I scored again. What the heck's going on with our lead that we had? We were playing out of our minds. Wait a second. How is it this close? Not going to be easy yeah. here. Backed up a yeah. long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on what third the down. Heck is oh, downfield catch made on the left side. What the heck is our defense? They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Oh, First time, clock stops for a moment, but no oh, hurry. Dude. They've got to hurry. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch. Can he get in? Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough if to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Cut quickly. That's not. Oh my gosh, that is not first and goal. Now it's first and goal. Well, hurry to the line here with the clock running. Looking to throw it again. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. They look to throw it here on second down. Touchdown, Good. Hurricanes. To take the lead in the first going. We're going for two. Here we go. They take the lead. And what an amazing comeback by this team and this offense. Now it comes down to can their defense hold the lead with under a minute to go. Well, You'll make it into the end zone. So now oh they gosh, the gosh, if we lose this game, the final the kickoff team on the field that's going to be the big to send this one away. I thought there was no shot with me. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Well, I play that the big saving game is all here. Let's see if field. it does again. First down, we're going to throw the ball. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep it's shot. Down! There! Down oh, no, no, oh, shoot! 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 On the ground, trying to muscle All right, now we'll find up for a field goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All no, let the clock run down to about the is a short just loss for the offense. Nice job. Come on. Another handoff to him on second and goal. Touchdown, Kentucky. They go in front in the final minute of the play. Chris, what a drive by this offense to put the go-ahead score with under 10 seconds to go. You know, as a quarterback, you hope for opportunities like this, and this offense and the quarterback delivers in a big way. So after taking the lead, they'll kick it away and hope the defense can just hang on for a few more seconds. Bring it out. It's Joseph. Oh, It'll be tackled right at the 20. That's a good job of the coverage yeah. team. I 
We've got to get points quickly here. Looking for explosive plays right now. And looking to throw now on first down. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. He's got it on the left side for a big game. They finally oh, get him down. They were just getting ready to score. Let's the replay that. Out. Okay, but well, we can't. But I was going to replay the that. They almost scored there. This is a crucial W. Great performance, but now the stage Last gets even bigger. Last play of the game. That the was so close. Continue going forward. Yeah, more and more pressure will grow as this team continues to win football games. But you and I have been around this team all year long. So impressed with the emotions and how they're able to contain themselves, stay focused on the task at hand. They did that again today. They advance. Cannot wait to watch and see what they can do next week. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler. And this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Start. Oh, this is a defensive player of the year of the week, not the year. This is an offensive player of the week. National player of the week. Notre Dame, you say Notre Dame won. We will play Notre Dame. Harrison. Never seen this. Okay. Yeah. I ain't taking any of these schools. Um, Say the bracket again after that week. If we win, we play the winner of Clemson, Oregon. What do you say? We start it. I think we do. See how it goes. If I don't. Part of course of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage. One last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. Uh, yeah. We'll find out Jersey's here today which side something. has the toughness the and the depth players. to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. As we'll see the number five seed in this playoff, the Notre Dame mm -hmm. Fighting Irish taking on the top-seeded team in the playoff, the Kentucky Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Kickoff team out there. We are about to get cranked up for the semifinal collision. They'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense comes on the field first today. Of course, the home of the Cotton Bowl in modern times has become AT&T Stadium, a massive yet somehow intimate setting. Yeah, this, of course, is where the first championship game of the playoff era was played. Well, who could forget that? When Ohio State took care of Oregon to win the national championship oh, for Urban Meyer. And this game, like you that said, I just seems to get bigger and bigger in this setting. The pressure these players feel. Let's see who can handle that the best today. So behind the six, second and long from their 14. He'll pitch it. Jukes past the defender. Creative running, paying off. 
breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. And a huge game before he's forced out of bounds. Big yards to set up a fresh set of downs. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. To throw, it's Vandegrift. Receiver makes the grab. Gets a block and gets the first down. This Kentucky offense is quickly moving down the field. On first and ten, look at the throw. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him, but great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. Early on in the football game, the offense always wants to try to develop just a nice rhythm to the offense. That time, just a simple screen to the running back, and they build some confidence on this first drive with a nice play. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Grab behind the line, it's Trainum. We get him down quickly, not much of a gain of that completion. Here comes the seventh play of a good looking opening drive, but it's third down now. Dropping back, they're gonna throw for the first down. Caught behind the line, it's Trainum. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. So here comes the kicking team on the field, they'll settle for three. And this one is right through. Yeah. It breaks the score with tie here and makes it 3 0. Okay. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So Notre Dame's offense out there for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. The game moves the ball to the 20-yard line. The game makes oh, a nice. second and Oregon. medium. Yeah, Oregon won. So we play Oregon. Or the three. Off the RPL, caught to the oh. right. They bring him down, but he reaches the three-yard line. That's an important first down on that running play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. The game moves the ball to the 34. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards here on first and ten. And here's the handoff. He's got some room at the 45. Stop right near midfield. Did he bring him first down? The running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. He hands it to the back. We'll get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And they'll give it to the back. Breaking tackles. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense going on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. Shoot. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Notre Dame getting set for the first and ten now. Try to catch the defense with the draw. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to... Pick, 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 pick. Can he take it all the way? Pass the 50. Now the 40. The 20. The 10. 
Thought we were getting ready to fumble. No game. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, the old school way is assigned to football. You have to win account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman oh, or just water. really good instinct. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. He's a guy that had it used much this year than he's on the right. Big ask the defense there. Uh, Absolutely. When you're giving that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. And the point is, he's going to be down the middle. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Young. Oh. And the coverage team able to bring him down. And to begin the drive here, set up at the 30. Looking for some space. It's low. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Ending off on the draw play. The defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first period of play. Well, Kirk, Kentucky has if the we would have lost that win, that's right. One in this really quest to move one step closer to a national championship. Let's check out the stats so far. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Incomplete, he was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. Plenty ready to boot it away. Bringing it back, it's Brown. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And here comes the Kentucky offense back out there. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made it. Oh, they got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Second down now after the sack. How about Notre Dame sending a backer here? He comes up with the sack. A little Rudy magic on this one. Boy, they deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. And just like that, in one play, they move from the screen position at the 23. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Kentucky now operating in the red zone. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain degree. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. Tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Second and goal for the offense. Option look, it's Vandegrift. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Hey, the defense is doing everything that they can to try to keep these guys out of the end zone. Now we've got a big third down coming up. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Kentucky. He just goes up and over the pile for that touchdown. And that's some serious vertical by this running back. A well done touchdown on the goal line. And the BAT puts him up 17. We're going to see them um, see how it goes next quarter. Okay, they scored. They scored. And they had next quarter. They scored. 
Police guard. Again. Change of profession. Alright, we'll just send them to the end of the game. Because there's no way they're even getting close to us. If they, if they come back and win that, they can have it. Well, that's a great there performance in the pressure Hot moment, ball. but now the job Hot gets ball. even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and, and be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says right. everything about the go. endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. They get one more hurdle to see if they can become right, the let's, national champ. Let's get that. And that is going to wrap it up. Not today, though. You will see that posted Sunday. Again, Sunday, I will uh, play the full game. Uh, you're giving me play the full game. No sound. The full game. Okay. Hey, you know, I need to check up on us for candy. And if they might be able to. This one is the biggest. Map and just off the players. Start trying to focus on the opposite and match the players that make it. From very on brand. Or it was like the duck. Beat out in two seats. The two seats. Oh, the two seats is worth. They're just waiting on the two. Oh, three coaching skills. Back to the kitchen. up. That game will be next week. All Americans. It's better than Brown and All Americans. And Brock Vanderbilt. Both of them. Huh. If anyone else. They made the first team. If anyone made the second team. Deion Walker did. Deion Walker did. Deion Walker did. Deion Walker did. No, no one made the first team. It's the first and second team. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, make sure you like. I've been seeing a uh, like ninety percent of y'all who are watching aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe where zero percent of y'all that are watching that are subscribed. So, like I said, like and subscribe. Peace.